Farfisa Compact Deluxe. Bob Weigel here, just giving a little view. Let's turn the phone off. Oh, there we go. Of the bottom of a um, Farfisa Compact Deluxe here that was in pretty nice shape, except somebody spattered paint on the back. I had to chip it all off, and it makes it look a little bit mottled. I don't know how to get that to <laughs> look normal. Again, since it's kind of yellowed, you know. <laughs> oh well. Uh, maybe we can do some careful touch-up matching or something on that. Probably would be the best. Just paint the whole thing. Very close color match. But, uh, yeah, the uh, other parts of it are all working. Uh, I think. Oh, that one's not working now. Every time I turn around, there's something else. Okay. The alignment isn't right on that one now. There it goes. It's got a little bit of dirt there, probably. Blew some dust. Take those contacts a little bit of cleaner so that it doesn't return. The base keys don't return. <laughs> Well, that's one that originally wasn't working, and it was a second ago. There, there, I pulled it up, and it worked. <laughs> I got to tension that a little more. Those have to be touching the return of it. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, here's the top side, and we've got all the tone cards, of course, arranged in fifths. You start at the top with your um, your A, then your E, and uh, B, of course, below that, and F sharp on that row and so on. They're all the C isn't marked for some reason over here. In case that confuses anyone. And uh, these capacitors I've seen fail in other ones. In this one they all measure perfect ESR. They're uh, two point some ohms equivalent series resistance which is very good for that size of a capacitor. These also measured fine and uh, I replaced the other ones in there that were the type that are failing which are all the ones in back, you can see I've put in new ones there, which are 25, 22, uh, 25 microfarad that I put 22s in is close enough. They're just um, uh, cup, just um, filter caps, so local filters. And then over here, we've got uh, the ones for the percussion circuit, which you can see them, and you can see there are also a little light going, a little light going on and off in there which uh, is a dual LDR, actually, and you shouldn't see any light there, <laughs> but it works fine. Yeah, the um, they put fuzz over it to try to keep as much blocked as possible. And, of course, we put that on. one or two octaves of bass with that and then the percussion off or on percussion on long or short it's very short 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 and you can do the percussion on the top or short oh, yeah that would make Lucky kind of thing going on there. And long. That's kind of how that works. And uh, you can have a soft or loud pedal thing going on. Or nothing. And uh, sharp, which definitely on this amp you want to listen to huh just too bassy so two different timbers of bass and, and uh, let's see up here we've got of course the knee lever I haven't tested the knee lever yet I'm pretty sure it probably works though they usually do let's see put this over here for a second and flip it up and let's oh and the reverb you can hear works First, Mr. Knee Lever. Let's see. 
Okay, I've got, uh, turn off the percussion. Let's see if I can knee it while I, and it should, uh, Again, I forget. <laughs> and all the footages work. I've tested all the footage. Yeah, everything sounds perfect when all the footages are in. And the, uh, yeah, two and two. Let's do that one alone. And it repeats because it turns out a fish. Yeah, I know, same. <laughs> anyway, so those are the basic footage segments, but, um, yeah, something I gotta get that tone booster working, I think, because that shouldn't be that way. Heavy vibrato. Sounds almost similar and then fast and slow. There's the fast and slow. Okay, and we got your medium and long reverb. Whoops, we lost the reverb. Maybe that switch is iffy. Why would it affect it when I move the other one? Because that's how everything's been going today. There we go. Now it's, yeah. Turned off when I went to medium. <laughs> a little bit of a switch that needs to be hit a few times there, probably. But amazingly, all these contacts are pretty clean. And amazingly, the reverb can works. So we'll get the tone booster working. And anyway, that's the overview of the innards of the uh, compact deluxe. You've got your reverb amount there. And it's the bass, uh, or is that the trigger um, amount? What did that do? I can't remember. <laughs> see, well, let's turn it and see, I guess. Where's the screwdriver? Here it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. As the screw turns. Thing. I think it was. Yeah, it gives you more length there. And on the short. Um, innards there. Yeah, you'll see just um, transistors fail occasionally in these cards, of course. Uh, the But the electrolytic caps, the two on the back, are the main main culprits usually, and these will go high ESR sometimes, but on this one, my, it's all, they're all perfect. So, uh, this one has the vibrato and the bass amp, preamp on it. Um, those caps were killing the bass volume, typical. 
And uh, we already saw the underneath with all the um, uh, resistor and cap boards there for the keying. And uh, there's a couple boards down there, Oops, down in there that have just caps and for probably proportioning. And your preamp is in there, of course, the uh, tube preamp. Oh, and this uh, wire came off. That's why I wasn't getting high voltage to light the light for the trigger. So that needs to be um, dropped right onto that tab there, 100 volts right there. Watch that, or you'll get slightly tingled probably. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Now we've got the top on, and yeah, the tone booster does work. I had those switches <laughs> reversed. So all you have to do is um, flip on the right switch, and not the left one. You put the left of the two, and it mixes everything. All booster, but if you have this thing like that, then uh, of course if you like the original one and we're all completed. <laughs> collection that actually fits it perfectly. It's, um, yeah, not uh, hardwired yet, but the interior is, uh, those things need to be repaired, the ho hooks in there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, at least it's a case lid. And so, uh, yeah, we'll probably uh, try to put this up tonight and see if anybody in Denver wants it. Because I'm running down there and sure save a lot of shipping. These aren't real light. <laughs> and that's your base volume. Anyway, there. So that's what it's got. And then you got three individual knobs in the back before um, EQ. And I think that's base. Mm -hmm. That's overall volume. Yeah, that's right. That's your, yeah, overall volume, and that's the base. Yeah. Yep, there you go. <laughs> 